Oh. So, I'm sure you all you guys use carabiners. Pretty much everybody here, or snaps of some sort. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook into this snap using. Does anybody know what kind of hitch I'm going to use on this? Lights hitch. Or a uh, Not, top line. Uh, as far as an anchor hitch. Oh. I just gave you the answer, actually. <laughs> I'm going to tie in with an anchor hitch. Do you have to tie in with an anchor hitch? No. Nope. You've got options? Yeah, yeah. Imagine that. You've got all sorts of options. The fisherman's knot would be another option that would work perfectly. Uh, because it unties and ties real easy. And also, it sets my, rope, it sets my rope in a perfect spot to tie my climbing hitch. Whereas the fisherman's knot, this would be coming straight up the top there. Uh, with these actual knots. I'll show you again real fast. Uh, we'll spend more time later on an individual basis if you want to learn some of this stuff. And virtually everything we're going to go over today is in the Tree Climbers Companion. It's an awesome, awesome little reference for you uh, to go over a lot of this stuff. Just going to take a loop, take another, bring it around the back and go through. Does anybody here tie in with a bowling? Nobody. Figure eight. Yeah. Figure eight. Yeah. What I'm driving at is you have to you have to anchor in according to ANSI standards. You must anchor in with some sort of cinching anchor knot. You know what I mean? What I mean by cinching anchor knot? When I pull down on this, see how this is going to tighten down onto my carabiner? If that doesn't happen, let's say you tie in with the bowline. No matter how good you are at tying a bowline, and I've had guys argue this with me a lot, saying, oh, I can tie that thing so tight on there, it'll never move. But the fact is, no matter how tight you tie that bowline, because it's a little loop down here that's not cinching, it's got the ability to rotate onto the, the gate of your carabiner, side loading your carabiner. That's what you're looking to avoid. Because there's not a carabiner on the market that you can't Every one of these you could open with a knot if it were on your gate. So the key is you need some sort of knot that when you put tension on it, it's going to cinch down on your carabiner and it's not going to move. Okay? So are you saying a figure eight won't work then? Well, figure According eight. According to the ANSI, a re thread figure eight. To follow the figure eight, you could do that with a snap. It still wouldn't work. A lot of rock climbers use that exact technique. The problem is, again, you're not going to, you're going to do that put it through here, there's no way in hell you'll be able to get it tight enough so that it won't roll around. Now if you have a snap, if you're on a closed loop there, that's fine. But if you're on a carabiner, you can't do that. Does everybody understand that concept? Now you have options. You can use a, a bunt line, you can use an anchor hitch, you can use a, a fisherman's knot. There's all sorts of different knots you can use for that. The key is that it's got to be a cinching anchor knot. 